Hello and welcome back everyone to Rocket Rabbit's run through of Super Mario World and in this episode we'll be continuing on with Vanilla Dome as we attempt to get to Vanilla Dome 1 secret exit. I'd like to keep Yoshi for as long as I possibly can. Mostly for the extra, uh, 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 mostly for the extra defense and uh, I, I'm choosing not to fly over this. Oh, so you could have flown. I could have flown over this obstacle specifically, but uh, I, I don't think I could actually keep Yoshi, uh, keep Yoshi for this. <laughs> yeah. This game really challenges you to think outside the box, if you will, like the box of vision by the camera. Come on, and there. There we go. Ha ha. Nice. So. Mushroom. Oh, there it is. All right. And fly. So, we have to abandon our Yoshi, but early access to the secret exit. And yes, uh, this is me actually uh, uh, this is me actually misremembering how we're supposed to get up here and what and what the reward for get, for going through vanilla secret is. I see what they did there. See, the first time we got the key in keyhole, the key was right next to the keyhole. But this time, the key also was right next to the keyhole, but it was a little further away this time. Um, I will grant that they that they do uh, that they do start actually putting the keys a, a tad further away from the keyholes, but to, for the most part, the actual puzzle for uh, for these levels is you know fi uh, finding uh, finding the key and then uh, and then where and then where the keyhole might be. Where it might be. Because there is, if they put a key in the map, there is definitely a keyhole around there somewhere. That's the lesson. Now, the second lesson is we're not just gonna put the keyhole right next to the key every single time. Gotta be ready for it, Mario. They're really close usually, though. I mean, I think one of the only instances of a key and keyhole being that far apart is uh, is specifically for um, there is a uh, level. <sighs> Actually, yeah, it's a uh, it's a uh, it's in this world, isn't it? Uh, Vanilla Do Vanilla Dome Two, uh, the uh, the uh, uh, secret uh, key and and secret uh, uh, keyhole are a tad are like a couple of screens apart from each other. You gotta travel a bit, and you gotta not drop the key in the process. Good uh, luck. This, uh, uh, this, in, this take of me uh, going into this level is me misremembering uh, what I actually need to do for uh, for this uh, secret exit. Um, uh, I did, I did do a, um, I did do a little bit of a, of a practice playthrough uh, for Super Mario World before I started recording, but, uh, but like it was more than a year prior, so I have so I have actively forgotten a good portion of what I practiced. <laughs> mm. Mm. So. What I need to do here, actually, is I need a cape feather so I can... It's not that one, uh, but there is... There is a, a pipe. Yeah, it's it's down there. It was on, it was on screen for just a brief moment. Uh, but there is a pipe below us right now that I'm that I'm supposed to actually uh, be uh, be attempting to uh, to get into. Well, for the most part, you can use this jumpy spring, but the trampoline. Yes, it's, it's a trampoline box in order to get the dragon coins up there. Yes. Gotcha. Mm. Mm. Come on, Pascadet. Do more exploring. And now I see where they got the idea for Mario's metal cap, because this dude has got a, a freaking plate of steel at the top of his head. Effectively, yes. <laughs> Banging his head and such. Oh, oh darn it all. No, it's okay. Uh, from here, uh, from here, we just need to get back, uh, get back up to Super Mario, and then. <laughs> mm. There. Oh, there's, uh, there is a, there is blue a uh, there is a, a blue outline there, Mr. Cloud. Clearly, what we're supposed to do is we're supposed to 
Oh, we can almost get it from here, though. Just almost. Yeah, well, what not we're supposed quite. to do very specifically is uh, get the put Blue Switch here. Palace. Uh, uh, we're supposed to get the Blue Switch Palace and then put one of the springs on the, uh, the Blue Switch platforms. And then from there, what we can do is... Uh, uh, it's just jump up there because oh put, yeah, we're, right. We're just, put the we're spring just a couple box. of uh, yeah, we are we are a couple we are a couple of uh, uh, Mario's too short, if you will. Well, I appreciate you making that extra take of the level in order to demonstrate that indeed it does make a profound difference your progress and exploits in the levels, whether or not you get the power switches that correspond to each of those, uh, square outlines. So again, I'm supposed to already have the, uh, the, uh, blue, uh, the blue switch palace for this one. I am instead going to do this without getting the blue switch palace, because the blue switch palace doesn't happen until much later on in the game, and I want to get, and I want to get this secret now. But I thought you'd. But if you want to get the secret now, the, don't you have to get the Blue Switch Palace? I am supposed to get the Blue Switch Palace first. Oh, but you're just gonna fly up into the into the pipe. Got gotcha, gotcha. Well, ain't that something? Is the game is just gonna let you get an alternate entryway versus the way they intended you to? Now. Uh, I'm unfortunately, uh, I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to get up there yet, um, because, uh, uh, because I think I, I need Yoshi for it. The thing is, I don't actually need Yoshi for this. Right, um, you just need the cape. Yeah, I just need the cape feather because there's, en uh, there's enough room up there uh, for, me, uh, for me to build up for flight. Okay, well, now you have, to okay, very good. Bye, Yoshi. See you later. My green smiling friend. Okay. So then. this is me attempting to escort Yoshi up here. <sighs> but you don't need Yoshi. I know. Uh, the future me knows uh, that we don't need Yoshi for this. But past me does not understand that we do not need Yoshi for this. <sighs> it's all right. Whoosh. Well, uh, okay. Well, how are you going to solve this one? Any, well, we have another. Is... We have access to another <laughs> spring all the way up there, and uh, uh, I. Yes. And unfortunately, yeah, I I can't I can't get that spring without using the first one. So, well, my friend, I think it's time that we part the ways. But it's only yeah. goodbye for a little while. Only for a little while. So here is me attempting to re uh, to uh, resolve my <laughs> escort quest by bring by bringing the spring back up. Oh my or God. not? Ah, okay. Ah, well, you're... here's the thing. I only had I only had two minutes left, and I was like, I, no, I I don't think I can actually make it in time. So. Good heavens. So we lost our Yoshi. Oh well. And I see that you finally gotten around to just going for it with the cape. Yeah. Good. That's a good. That's a good lesson you learned. See, learning learning is indeed. One of the best things for games. Is now, learning games... is fundamental when it comes to puzzle games, Mr. Cloud. Yes. The nature of the puzzle. Okay, put the block down, and then... Foot. No, the Spin spring jump. is not required for this. <sighs> this is not your first rodeo, cowboy. Spin! Spin... <sighs> We're, we're, we're getting closer. We're getting closer. I, I can feel it. I may not see it, but I can f feel it. Okay, but... Alright, well, good. Get get the coins. The, the no, coins are we don't definitely... need the coins either. You, you always need coins. That's why they count them. <laughs> And, What's happening uh, here is that I'm actually doing I'm doing some very specific uh, live experimentation with the uh, with the cape because I don't think I've got enough room here to actually to actually start the flight. But I do. I just have to run back and forth for it. And there yay! we go. Got it. Ah, oh, don't fall off again. Ah, oh, wonderful. Another oh, charge. Another charge. A charging chuck. Bink. Punt. Well done. And so, 
for successfully getting this uh, the secret exit significantly out of order, because again, we're not supposed to have the blue one until much later on, we've got access to the first part of Star Road. No, we're not going to show it off this part, but we will be showing off Star World, Star Road eventually. Anyway, nice. back to the normal route. Oh, fish out of water. Oh, Jesus. Uh, cheap, cheap. Yes, those those are cheap, yes, cheap. Uh, yes, these are cheap, cheaps. It took me a uh, second to register. Thankfully, while we have the cape feather, um, we actually have the ability to interact with cheap, cheaps uh, uh, positively underwater, as in we can actually smack them, and, you know, they will become uh, they will become less alive. <laughs> less alive. <laughs> All right, so here, another cape feather, but we don't need it. Um, this is an, uh, this is act, uh, in order to get to the secret exit here, I, I was mistaken, it's not, uh, it's not Vanilla Dome, it's not Vanilla what? Dome 2 that has the thing that I'm worried about, uh, but in order to get the secret here, what you specifically need to do is get up to the top, god damn it, Charging Chuck! God uh, damn, to, somebody's playing defense. Now, what you need to do specifically is get up to the top and- Whoa, whoa, and, whoa, uh, whoa! Yeah... Yeah. Okay. You got so, you got pushed into the foreground by the blocks. <laughs> yeah, I got pushed into the foreground slash underneath the blocks uh, by the blocks themselves. Uh, Good for the Lord. record, that is actually a very easy to repeat glitch. If um, and it is a it, it is a glitch. It is, it's. Uh, what what specifically is happening there is um, uh, Mario is not allowed to stand on the same layer as uh, as the blocks are. Uh, mm -hmm. Assuming that the blocks are, you know, not, uh, uh, coded as impassable terrain, and and because the um, and because those blocks have got uh, on uh, two different states of both passable and in impassable terrain, if they, God damn it, if they go into pa if they go into impassable terrain while Mario is sitting on them, he gets pushed and he gets pushed below or above them, usually mm. below. Well, I'm not but... entirely sure how to get pushed above, but I'm relatively certain that you can get pushed above. Well, that's two major hazards. Well, three, three major hazards. The most prominent, of course, is touch damage. The second is the blocks that will cause you to glitch through the map, which is something that probably shouldn't happen because it looks bad, but does anyway. And the third are the bottomless pit hazards. We'll have you skirting ever so closely with death as you swim near the bottom of these screens. Like right there. See, Mario will die if he falls in that pit. But we're so, not gonna let him. Um, go up this way. Hit the buzzy beetle. Pow. There we yeah. go. Pow, 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 power. Oh, so that's how you get through the block level. Oh, there's the key. And but where is the keyhole? There right it here. is. Nice. Found it. So what's happening here specifically is while <laughs> Mario is holding an item, um, he actually has uh, he actually has somewhere between double and triple move, um, uh, swim speed. We're not entirely sure as to why that is, but it is a thing that happens consistently. In the next episode, we'll continue on with Vanilla Dome. Be safe, everybody.